Hey guys, this is Eric at HostPuppies.com and this is a tutorial on how to use your Essential Grid posts. As you'll see there's the post, add new tags and custom categories. Now, a little bit about this. Um, you will find this in your dashboard on, after you log in through your uh, wp-login.php which uh, is appended to the end of your um, domain name. So it'll be your domain name dot com forward slash wp dash login dot php. You'll log in and you'll be taken into your dashboard. You'll see a welcome from WordPress um, and <clears throat> and so forth. Um, so in this particular instance, we're going to make a new post, and for our purposes, we're going to use YouTube as how we post the um, the content. Now, if you we come to the front end of the site you'll see that we have um, uh, as we scroll down here we have some essential grids here and when we click on those they take us to basically a post page with the bells and whistles of about the author and comments and in this particular application we've included uh, disc discuss which is a uh, social uh, plugin uh, that has taken over our comments so we're actually posting those through the website on to discuss um, and that's maybe a topic for another time but you can see here that this is basically a blog page on um, WordPress treats all posts all pages as posts um, your template drives whether they're posts or pages in this case this is a post as you can see, it's part of the essential grid, and here's the name of the uh, the pretty links for that particular item. So there are a number of things that make this appear on the page in this format. As you can see, we've included a filter. Um, there are also category names. If we were to have more categories on this page, say cannabis, um, whatever you might think of those would be lined up across the page we could click on those and call post in sequence by that category or we can filter uh, and do the same thing we can also sort as well uh, ascending and descending um, and kind of go from there so we haven't done much with the season two of this this website it is the Adam Dunn show based out of uh, Denver Colorado and they they have a YouTube posting that we placed in the essential grids and essentially uh, at the bottom you can see there's more grids now these are paginated and you're probably wondering why these are not paginated we have not added the uh, current season two videos at this point we're working on season one as you can see they're paginated and when we click them they call up a different uh, set of uh, grids and if these were in divided more rows on the page it would actually call them across in different formats uh, different types of effects so now uh, so basically we have four across one row kind of on a slider where we can go through and browse this and so now we just need to know how do I make this appear here so you'll notice we're dealing with all about dabs part three, which is part of the uh, part of the uh, show, and we're going to go over here to the dashboard, uh, back here into the dashboard, which I've tabbed up here at the top. You can see I'm toggling back and forth, and we're going to go to essential grid posts, add new. Now you can see there's where we put our title, and the uh, YouTube link. Alternatively, that could be a Vimeo link. Um, there's also uh, room to put that in uh, as a hosted HTML5 video as well. We'll cover that in just a second. Okay, so we'll go to YouTube, and we know that we need all about Dabs Part 2. We're kind of pulling, so we're going to go ahead and pull the, the actual link from the top here, and we're going to drop it right here into our... Uh, Content area, as you can see, it's already embedded itself. 
And now I know that in this post I want to include the actual title, which I'm just going to cut and paste. You might have a different format, want to uh, cut and paste something else. Um, we're going to go in here and grab this. Uh, this this is our kind of our long format uh, excerpt, uh, which we're also using in the excerpt as well. Now, something that you may not know, when you publish, this is your published date. When you just publish, it goes today's date, today's time. Um, in this case, this this video was posted on June twenty second. So what we want to do is come in here and change this to June twenty second. Don't worry about the time. And we know this is season one, which we have a category for. We do, as you can see, have some other uh, categories, but in this particular case, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves with what may or may not go on. And now, if you'll notice, there is a picture. Here's a picture. And that picture shows up in the header as well. And it could stand to be a little bit larger. We're just using this as kind of a holding until we get a more permanent style picture. Um, in order to make this picture appear here, it's going to be very important to set our featured image. Just we go in here, we know that that is our featured image. We'll set that. It'll show up. And uh, we're going to drop our expert, which we still have uh, uh, copied. And we're going to disallow trackbacks and pings. We're going to make sure that the correct author shows up show sharing is on. Now there are also some alternative sources and this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, this will do mp4 audio um, this will be will do mp4 or audio rather and you would post a link the entire link of your um, your where your file is located located in here uh, for example, adamdunshow.tv forward slash wp dash content forward slash uploads forward slash movie dot mp4. That would go inside there. Alternatively, you can drop in your YouTube and your video, your YouTube ID and your video, Vimeo ID as well. Um, this could be also a soundtrack cloud embedded here, and um, you can choose your images from image sources and so forth. Uh, we're not going to get into too much more details than that for this little thing. This is just a very simple post. So we kind of got everything in here that we need. And now what we, we forgot to do is I want to put this inside. So I'm going to just go to text. I'm going to paste this. Go back to visual. And I know that in this particular instance, this text will come out gray according to the theme, which is not something I want to change, but I do want it to be black. So I just highlighted my text, made this black right here, and now that'll show up black. Now we're good to go. We'll go ahead and publish this and wait for the little spinner to stop spinning. And at this juncture, it looks like it's going to be okay. We'll go back to page five, all about dabs part three, and we just put in dabs part two. Okay, so now we'll refresh our page and we'll take ourselves back into page five. As you can see, part two is in, and it looks pigeon. And that's kind of how you do it. Um, if you are a user, you direct your users to come to the bottom of the page, they can share the post. Um, your theme may have a different way of doing that or may have the buttons in a different place. You can look at previous and next this tells a little bit about the author and then we have uh, comments on this one is where the normal WordPress comments we've replaced that with, with uh, discuss uh, that allows your user to log in by Facebook, Twitter, Google or their discuss account and it also allows them to share their comments later on by social media and be uh, very viral with their postings um, so it's, it's a really cool alternative they can also share from discuss as well um, on Twitter or Facebook and they can favorite their comments uh, and so forth. And they can log in, uh, like I said, do this uh, and go from there. So that is kind of uh, at the bottom you can see there's some 
some other uh, there's some comments here that are related to these videos in particular on discuss and that is how you do it folks um, that is the long and the short of it and uh, there are other other issues to consider if you do alternative sources um, and you want this video to show up here um, uh, you, you need to put that code in the alternative sources as well so um, just real quick this skin right here is derived from the source inside of essential grid items essential grids if we click on that it's going to take us in and I know that inside of here on page four is season one settings and settings as you can see gets into a whole big old mess of things to do uh, it shows you how your your grids will look and it shows you the post and we're using essential grids um, there are post categories and tags um, orders and so the, you can learn more about that at themepunch.com uh, more about how to construct the grids if you want to change the skins and then that will be a maybe a, a video tutorial for another time um, anyways I'm gonna go back here because I got more work to do and uh, hope this was informative and this will help you get started and take care of your your uh, your video blog post here um, thank you very much